Hi friends, I love finding and wearing vintage clothes. I'm always looking for unique pieces with a story that I can incorporate into my wardrobe. I've built up a good stable of sources for my vintage pieces, but I'm always looking to find more. In this video, I'm going to show and tell you about how the interconnectivity of the vintage community led me to shop a curated collection of vintage pieces from abroad. Welcome to the Dress Up Mom! If you're already a subscriber, thank you and I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please do and tap the bell for notifications. Over the years, I've found many different ways to source my vintage clothes and accessories. Thrifting, resale shops, vintage shops, vintage marketplaces, Etsy, eBay, Instagram, even my own relatives' closets. I also love to explore vintage shops when I'm traveling. One thing I've noticed that I find so endearing about the vintage community is sort of the interconnectivity of it, at least here in San Diego. I've often been shopping at one vintage or resale shop and not found exactly what I was looking for and had the person that works there point me in the direction of another vintage or resale shop, basically their competitor. They all root for one another and are so passionate about what they do. I encourage you to share what you're looking for when you're in these shops because the people are just a treasure trove of information. Tanya McInair, who owns the vintage shop Bad Madge in San Diego, is one of these resources. She turned me on to Revival Eyewear, a vintage eyewear shop I recently featured in a video, which I will link here. They have such great stuff, and I've been loving, enjoying, and wearing the heck out of the things that I got from them. From their Instagram feed, I learned they were hosting a burnt orange store pop-up featuring a curated collection of vintage clothing from Europe and abroad. I recognized Abra, who owns burnt orange, because she also gets her hair cut by Jane Matthews. I mean, a small world. I knew this would be right up my alley, so I marked my calendar and made sure I got there early. Revival Eyewear had moved. And they were in this new location, which was so much better, so much more room, and also had a lot more street traffic. I was super happy for them. This whole experience was just quite a treat. Over the summer, Abra spent two and a half months traveling through Europe and along the way collected hundreds of pieces of vintage clothing accessories from cities such as Berlin, Paris, and many small country villages throughout France. This is Abra, another Jane contact, and she traveled to Europe to come up with this amazing Partially, this is only partially the collection, right? Yeah, Dozens of pieces more actually at my studio, racks full of clothing, so. This is like my dream she's living. If I had had a little more courage when I was her age, maybe I would have done something like this. Her garments range from all throughout the 20th century, from the early 1900s up to the late 1990s, with a focus on fabrics, details, and storytelling through objects. Each unique piece has its own special story. These pieces were in great condition, so different than what I've seen and unique, and it was so much fun perusing this curated collection. I ended up getting three pieces from her collection. The pants fit perfectly, which is rare for me. I also love the top and bag and have lots to wear with them. It was fun getting to hear the stories behind the pieces too. I asked Abra what uh, the story of my outfit where she found the pieces. So you were telling me about the pants. Yeah, the pants were passed down to me by really special older women that I've befriended up there. Um, in the top. In Paris, you said, or in France? In France. Uh -huh. um, countryside of France. A 93-year-old woman, a doctor. A retired doctor. Okay, see, I will be channeling her yes. when I wear these. Yes, and she had great style all throughout the 60s and 70s. Oh, she love it. A lot of my pieces. Love it. What do you think the pants are from? What um, decade? Um, definitely 70s. Okay. Yeah, so the square pork chop pocket and the square legs. Excellent. Um, it's not almost that like sailor, not the vibe to it. But I love them, and I can yeah. never find long enough or waist that fits, so I'm yeah. super thrilled about these. And the top? 
um, the top. So that also came from the same region of France, but from the market. And from a flea market. Yeah, that's 1960s. I and love it. The colors are incredible. It popped out to me right away, and I knew I had to take care of me. And how about my little, this little bag here? This the little bag. Danny bag. Thing. Also French. Um, okay, there's a theme. Yeah, it came from the same source as the top. Just a uh, just white flea market. Okay, so when I go to Europe, I have to make sure I go vintage shopping in France, it sounds like. Yes, okay. highly recommend it. All right, thank you. look at glasses too and couldn't pass up these Jean-Paul Gaultier gems from the 1990s. I don't have anything else like them. I had so much fun doing this and I'm definitely going to keep up with Opera. She has a much larger collection and I definitely plan on getting over and seeing that too. I just love how vintage unites people of all ages and backgrounds and how collaborative this community is. How is the vintage community where you live? I would love to know that. Please leave it in the comments below. Thank you to the Burnt Orange Store and Revival Eyewear for a fantastic day. If you aren't already following them, check them out on Instagram for a lot of inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.